Welcome everybody to State of the WWE episode number 26. Mm-hmm. I hope that's right because I put, what did I put on the other one, 25? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even fucking know my own show. I don't know what's going on. It's 26. The Dead on Dave, Van Cura, and uh, myself, Joe Cronin, we're here to talk about the WWE and the state of the WWE may be in turmoil for Monday Night Raw this week because there may not be a Jerry Lawler because a mystery bacteria is plaguing his uh, intestines. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Uh, do you think this think- is something that's going to finally, you know, make? I mean, it seems like they don't care. Like he could be run over next week. They're still going <laughs> to get out there, old man. Yeah, get out. Uh- it's, we'll keep Jerry Lawler no matter what. <laughs> Yeah, and then they're just going to have the rotting fucking skeleton of Jerry Lawler with, like, a fucking talk button. You know, look, I, I don't wish anything bad upon Jerry Lawler. Uh, I kind of – I'm in the same boat as I am with, like, Aaron Rodgers. I don't want him to die, but I want him to get – like, Aaron Rodgers, I want him to get in, like, this terrible carpal tunnel syndrome, t- tunnel syndrome that he can't ever fucking throw football again. Same thing with Jerry Lawler. I want him to get, like, somebody to just th- stab him in the neck with a fucking pen or something so he can't talk anymore. I don't want him to die. Right. But I think this is a great opportunity, and if Vince is smart, this is the perfect opportunity for Raw to bring in Renee Young because she was awesome on this week's episode of uh, NXT. Yeah, she's always awesome. That's the thing. Like I said, when, uh, Back when her and whoever the Todd Phillips or whatever his name is that went up to WWE yeah. now, I thought her and him and, and maybe Regal would be the announced team because they were so good on yeah. some of those NXTs. And pretty much they've... Mixed and match other people on NXT now. Yeah, they and, have been, and they've all been good. I think so. Everybody's been good. Tensai, Riley, and of course, uh, Graves has been incredible. Uh, and they're all with that weird midgety Michael Cole ripoff guy. No idea what his name is, but he oh, looks yeah. like a midgetier version of Michael Cole, like a troll Michael Cole. Yeah, but Michael a, Troll. I'll tell you what's a good thing for Corey Graves that he's good at, that he is good at it because. Imagine if just you know what I mean he wasn't able to <laughs> do nothing. that. Yeah, I mean you're just you're done, bro. You got some tattoos and you're go home. Right. It's like but, hey, you look like CM Punk, but that's it. Bye. I don't know if um by the way, I don't know if this relates to how the same type of deal that, you know, Corey Graves is going through, but the other night I tried to uh, have a match with the my I wrestle a bear for people that don't know by the way. And yeah. I had it do a hard on me and all these things and I felt just terrible. You might. I mean, look, man. I've I've had a few concussions myself. You, they sometimes they don't go away. You will affect. It'll affect you for a long time. It's quite possible. Don't wrestle bears anymore. Be like Dave Rose and just mace them. You know, he makes bears. I. You know, I really was looking forward to having a hardcore match though. So hopefully it goes away soon, so I can have do that. Leah do it. <laughs> have Leah wrestle in your place. Like do do this whole promo where like, you know, I was gonna do this. I was going to finally end the bear, but instead, the luscious Leah will take him on instead and just have her destroy him and set him on fire. That would be her name, her ring, your luscious Leah. Luscious Leah. It was the first L word I could think of that wasn't, like, disgusting. <laughs> it's kind of disgusting. <laughs> well, luscious isn't that bad. Ew. Is it? The lovely. Oh, that's been you. I, no, I like luscious. No. Lovely Leah isn't going to fucking set a bear on fire, but luscious Leah might. Yeah, right? I think, yeah. <laughs> Lush, luscious lesbian lovely. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a lot of good L words. What the fuck? Yeah. Livacious? Livacious? That's not bad. Is that a word? I don't even know. I know libation is. That's like alcohol. Libation. That's. Yeah. I think you, you can't say that. That's alcohol. I, I, I know. I thought you, it was a I was a masturbation joke. I think. Yeah, I know. Uh, I know. I, I'm just. I'm. I'm too artsy for that. I guess. I yeah, I'm pretty. I'm sick. Like. Yeah, I'm, but I'm, you know what? It's why we love you. I'm very poop jokey. There's nothing wrong with poop jokes. There's always going to be a place is, in this world for poop jokes. Leah's like, what does this have to do with wrestling? I'll tell you what it has to do with wrestling. Nothing. Nothing. And I don't care because we're going to make the show long because now we're on iTunes and uh, we're all over the place. We can do so. whatever the fuck we want. Fuck, fuckity, fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, how about that? And uh, you know something? We're on iTunes now. Joe Cronin Show. Search it on iTunes. And, of course, we're on SoundCloud now, too. You can follow us there. Uh, the feed goes there. And then, of course, uh, YouTube.com slash Joe Cronin Show and Spectrum Gaming 617. And uh, so you think this Monday night, do they who do they get to fill in for Jerry? 
more than likely it's going to be Alex Riley. If I had to guess, because that's kind of their go-to guy, and he has, he's got a lot of experience uh, announcing now. So that's who I would guess, or Tom Phillips. I mean, that makes sense too. But Alex Riley was at least a wrestler. I mean, I guess he still is a wrestler. I mean, he's not doing any wrestling, but, you know, uh, so he makes sense. But I say in an opportunity like this, why not just give her a shot and let Renee go in there? But then I'm like, ooh, her, Michael Cole, and JBL, oh. Yeah, I mean, but I like her in that in the third wheel role because that's how I like her in, in the you know third man in or third woman in or third time where I'd like to be in her. Uh, it yeah. would be the greatest. <laughs> More than no. three times, too, yeah. <laughs> It'd be oh, amazing. Wow. Uh, the so all right. So Renee Young. I don't know. I, I want to like start the bets on who's going to be there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say that. You think they pull the trigger and just go Corey Graves, throw him into the fucking fire? Oh my god, that'd be awesome. I don't. I don't know. It'd be pretty crazy. That would be kind of cool though. I'm going to go with. I'm gonna go with Ren- I'm gonna go with Renee Young, but you're gonna go with Renee. Yeah, I'm gonna say. See, that- if I have to hedge my bet, if I get if I gotta put money on it, I'm going with Alex Riley. Okay, I know it's a great pick. I'm just gonna I figure I'll make it interesting now. Yeah, but I I'm just gonna be forced to pick Renee Young, although I think it could be anybody, and more Alex Riley would be my next pick, and then maybe it would be. I don't know, I want to say Todd Phillips would be the next one to be there. Maybe even Todd Phillips could be the one. So it's that's why it's so hard to decide. Who's going well, he to actually there. makes the most sense because those three work together on SmackDown. So okay. really, those three make the most sense. But so you know what? That that's who it's going to be. It, it, it's solved. That's the SmackDown crew. Fucking problem solved. There it is. Right. And right. it's unfortunate. Why not go for something? But fuck it. You know, Renee would be perfect. Yeah. You're... God forbid, call Jr. <laughs> either. You know. Oh well, <laughs> there's a lot of <laughs> weirdness going on with him. You don't know what's going. On. He's jerking Jeff Jarrett off. So there's. Yeah, he is having Dixie on and all this stuff now, too. Yeah, that's bizarre. very interesting. If he goes to... I mean, I had hoped someone went to TNA. Imagine if TNA had gotten JR and CM Punk, you know, instead of, yeah, you know, what happened, but whatever. And everyone laughed at that and said, that's ridiculous. Why would CM Punk... But, I mean, it would change a ton. of Their ratings would go up. Well, temporarily. I'm not sure how... I thought about that. I don't know how long he would... I mean, people said the same thing when Jeff Hardy went there. People said the same thing when Christian went there. Fuck, everybody said it when Kurt Angle went there. And nobody's been able to turn the tables. The reality is they keep getting guys who are over the hill who are old. And let's face it, CM Punk is 36. He's not a young guy. So I don't even know how much longer he would have wrestled anyway. I I, I do agree with you. He would Except definitely serve gonna... a ratings boost <laughs> in the short term. But the long term? Eh. Yeah, but now he's going to go get in a real fight. So I mean, like... Yeah, he's going to get killed. It's going to be great. He's going to get murdered. I want to fight him. I'm in his weight class. I would love to fight him. I want to kick him right in his, right in his nipple. It would be good. <laughs> left or right nipple, the, the world wants to know. I would I would probably end up hitting him in the in his left nipple to okay, my so right. So the right I, for us and left yeah, for him. Yeah, I'd kick with okay. my right foot, which is weird because I would snap kick with my right foot, but I do the super kick with my left foot. But that Shawn Michaels... Kind of, why do you go with your left foot? I don't... I'm kind of like... I'm a, I'm a switch everything. <laughs> That's bizarre. But it is. I'm I'm I can switch hit in baseball too. It's weird. And I play lefty in hockey, but I'm righty. And I th- everything is righty for me otherwise. And then I'm inverted in video games. So I'm I'm just <laughs> all fucked up. Christ. I I think that explains the ADD and the craziness in my brain because like I could never. My brain couldn't even figure out what to do with everything. Well, there's three main questions about what handed you are. What, what do you what hand do you write with? Right. What hand do you masturbate with? Right. And what hand do you wipe your ass with? Right. You're a right-handed guy. Yeah. Hey, there's just no question about it. You just do some weird, quirky things. I, I yeah, I just got this weird, like lefty <laughs> thing that comes up. Like I can bat lefty, and a lot of hockey players that are righty use a lefty stick. That's weird. And um, I'm inverted. A lot of people are inverted, but. That's just strange. I know I had to start masturbating my left hand when I got hurt, but that's oh. just me. I just sound like Tommy there. Inverted. You're Not crazy. No, Cronin. <laughs> you know what? You know, we might hear something really weird about video games and inversion. Yes. If I can see the hands of the first person that I'm playing with or the, you know, the whatever I'm controlling, if the hands are up in front of the screen, I am not inverted. <laughs> Okay, I'm dead serious. This is not a joke. I played a game one day with hands, 
And I, it, Skyrim is what happened. Okay, okay. So it's got to be a straight up FPS. You have to have that first person perspective. Uh, yeah, no, but it's not even that. It's just if I can see hands, it's not inverted. But if I can see, if there's a gun in the hands or a knife in the hands, oh, then I'm, you're inverted. I'm inverted now. Yes, That's fucking bizarre. almost like I'm pushing because it's like mentally, I'm like I'm gonna push the weapon down, push it up. <laughs> but if it was just my hands, I would just go up and go down. That is so fucking weird. I, I right feel now. like I'm not crazy, and everyone else is the crazy people. Well, that's what crazy people say. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, because I'm put, <laughs> mentally I'm going to push the gun down to look down and push it down to look up. You know, kind of like, I don't know, to lift it. I, See, it, that's the true sign of craziness, being able to rationalize you're fucking crazy. Okay. You, know, you, you might have... If you don't get help with Charter, please get well, help somewhere. Well, if you ever heard my uh, me hiding the gun in the wall story, you know... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Uh, TNA is is like a bunch of signings. Yeah, announcing lots of signings. Like, what's up with that? Uh, who nothing cares? Major, yeah, nothing major. But it, you know, and it's people that like everyone groans over too. Like, oh, Kurt Angle, big whoop. Um, Ethan Carter the third again. Okay, they signed EC three. We thought he was already yeah. here. Like, there's no yeah. nothing significant comes of that those signings really um, no. to me. And there's not no. A lot, no. There's not a lot going on, but we're building up to the Royal Rumble, and I can't wait to do the prediction show because I think we should. We do have to like wait till like the last minute to do it. We to, do, yeah. Because there's no, there's, you can't really predict anything right now. I feel like a lot's gonna happen in the next three weeks, but there is some stuff that's been happening. I mean, I don't know if did you watch NXT this week? I'm uh, just gonna watch it after we do this. Actually, oh, fantastic! <clears throat> Again, it shouldn't come as a surprise, but here's the shocker of it. No, uh, I'm just gonna spoiler alert for okay. you. There's no Kevin Owens. There's no Sami Zayn. No Adrian Neville, and it's still an amazing show. 